NASCAR Dyke has been around since the golden age of NASCAR. They've been in NASCAR stop motion races, NASCAR parodies, and as part of the NASCAR collections community. Their peak years was in 2001 through 2015, but much time has passed since it went downhill. The downfall years were 2016 to the present day. All the nostalgia that was in the NASCAR diecast community were gone in an instant. Before we move on to the downfall, do you all remember Motorsports Authentics? That was taken away from us from 2011. If you all don't know, ISC opened up a Motorsports Authentics for NASCAR diecast in 1992. They continued to make diecast along with Hot Wheels and Winter Circles. They had the best quality because of a competition. Hot Wheels would sometimes have a driver or a track com promotion diecast, and it was really fun. That all changed in 2011. Lionel started producing NASCAR diecast in 2011, replacing Motorsports Authentics. Most of the diecasts can be purchased at the racetrack or online. Previously, from 2012 to 2015, Lionel Racing had competition with Spin Master. Yes, Spin Master. They also made NASCAR diecasts as well in 2011. Spin Master was really popular, and they still are in this current day. They made their own NASCAR Authentics, but it was exclusive to retail stores. But they stopped after 2015. Why? The same thing with NASCAR games. Lionel Racing signed an exclusive license to make NASCAR diecasts even at the Authentics line. This is just so stupid. Did NASCAR not learn from the gaming side of NASCAR? So then that's when it went downhill. And oh boy, there's a lot to talk about. Lionel Racing's first wave of NASCAR Authentics came in 2016, and it has some 2015 paint schemes. And had some made some, and they also made haul, haulers for the Authentics line. It was fun to have NASCAR haulers to keep in our diecast collection. Most of the time, they'll do a special wave of NASCAR Authentics from time to time. Some are hit or miss. They started doing it back in 2016, but with the 2016 version of Throwback Weekend, it was only for Cup Series only. But they started adding Xfinity cars in the Authentics line. In, in Wave 11. 20, 2020 impacted a lot of companies in a negative way, but Lionel still gave us the diecast and still had the 2019 cars, but they step it up with Wave 3 of the 2020 Authentics line, and they, and they were pretty solid. But in the last wave of the 2021 Authentic waves is where it went downhill. In 2022, Lionel brought the PTC mode into the Authentics line. This isn't the first time that they did it. The first time they did it was the last wave of 2018 in the Authentics line. And they said they'll never bring it back. But they did for whatever reason. Don't worry though, they brought it back again for the even numbers. And with 2023, they started with the JAT mode, which is a less horrible version than the PTC mode, but it's still pretty bad. Lionel actually realized this. He said, you know what? Let's make our different waves and make them race wins. And they did. Now, I don't think this is the worst idea ever. As a matter of fact, I actually like the idea of a race win diecast waves. But the main issue is this, that it shouldn't be a Target exclusive. It should be in other retail stores as well. All NASCAR Authentics waves should be at retail stores. It doesn't matter if it's special or not, it should it should be available for everywhere in the retail stores. Pre-ordering NASCAR diecast is much different than video games and plushies. They offer the fans to pre-order the diecast, and if the diecast reaches the amount of pre-orders, then it gets made. But sometimes it's rigged. I remember back in 2022, Alex Bowman's 2022 Ally 400 car was announced, and a ton of Henry Motorsports fans ordered it off their website. But because of the confusing system and other people not ordering the diecast, yeah, my brain couldn't remember all of it. But this paint scheme got screwed and it was forced into the PTC mode in the Authentics line. Most of the Gold Series diecasts haven't been good most of the time. There will be some paint chips, broken tires, messed up decals, or the car is just blurry. Yes, I get it. They tried to release the car early, but still. 
If I were them, I would just take time and have some patience to be able to release the diecast, and they'll be perfect. That's how I would do it. And the last thing I want to point out is just the other versions of NASCAR diecast. The 124 scale and the 187 scale versions of the cars. The 124 scale used to be part of the Authentics line, but only a few times, which is stupid. It was popular that they would put 124 scales into retail stores, and it should be part of the Authentics line as well, with a profit of $20. I know it may not be perfect, but it will still work for people who can't afford a $125 toy car. And Lionel hadn't made a 187 scale car since 2020 with the only wave of the 187 Authentics line. I never understood why they stopped. I think they look cute. I used them for my mini races video in the Chaseverse Plus show. Don't get me wrong, I'm still looking forward to collect new diecasts in the future. I started collecting NASCAR diecasts in late 2017 when I left NASCAR entirely. My first NASCAR diecast was the Eric Amarola 2017 SP STP Darlington throwback. And after collecting a few more NASCAR diecasts in 2018, I returned to NASCAR and the rest was history. But after getting some old NASCAR diecasts from the Golden Age, I understand why people want to buy older diecasts. There shouldn't be an exclusive license, like at all, for any games or diecasts. The exclusive license crap is what led us to the downfall to begin with. And watching this video will might kill your hype for the future diecasts, but I had to point out this after collecting some old school diecast cards from the 80s, 90s, in the 2000s. So yeah guys, that's how the downfall of NASCAR diecast began. Now I want to hear from y'all. What do you guys think about the downfall of NASCAR diecast? If you were lying all racing, what would you do to make the diecast great? Let me know down in the comments. I'll be reading through all of it. I'm going to go ahead and roll up out of here. Y'all have a good one, and I'll see you next time.